In the late 19th century, the world of science was basking in the glow of classical physics. The laws of motion and electromagnetism, as put forth by Newton and Maxwell, were seen as near-perfect models of the universe. But, as it often happens in science, a couple of unexpected discoveries were about to disrupt this comfortable narrative. The first of these was black-body radiation. According to classical physics, hot objects should emit light in a spectrum that followed a specific curve. But the actual observations defied this prediction. A scientist named Max Planck stepped onto the scene in 1900 with a radical proposal. He suggested that light energy didn't come in a continuous wave as previously thought, but in discrete packets or quanta. The second experiment that shook the foundations of classical physics was the photoelectric effect. It was observed that light could knock electrons out of metal. But contrary to classical physics, which proposed that the intensity of light determined the energy of these electrons, the experiments showed that only the frequency of light mattered. This led to the proposition that light behaved like particles, photons, at times. These two anomalies were more than just minor hiccups. They were the seeds of doubt that led to a seismic shift in our understanding of the universe. They pointed to a world where light could behave both as a wave and as particles, where energy came in discrete packets and not continuous waves. These observations sparked a revolution that would redefine our understanding of the universe. At the dawn of the 20th century, the stage was set for a scientific revolution. The anomalies observed in the late 19th century had sown seeds of doubt, and now they were about to bear fruit. Albert Einstein stepped onto this stage in 1905, armed with a new perspective on the photoelectric effect. He proposed that light behaved not only as a wave, but also as a stream of particles, which he called photons. This particle nature of light explained why the energy of electrons knocked out of metal depended on the light's frequency, not its intensity, as classical physics had predicted. In 1913, Niels Bohr further challenged classical physics with his atomic model. He suggested that electrons existed in specific energy levels within atoms and could only jump between these levels by absorbing or emitting energy in discrete packets or quanta. This quantum leap, if you will, accounted for the observed atomic spectra, which had been a mystery until then. The wave-particle duality of light and the quantum nature of energy were revolutionary ideas, but the quantum revolution was far from over. In 1926, Erwin Schrödinger introduced the wave function, a mathematical representation of the probability of finding a particle in a specific location. This was a radical departure from the deterministic predictions of classical physics. Around the same time, Werner Heisenberg formulated the uncertainty principle. He stated that it's impossible to know both the position and momentum of a particle with perfect precision at the same time. This principle shook the very foundation of our understanding of reality. The mid-20th century marked a new era in the quest to understand the quantum world. Quantum mechanics this strange and beautiful science began to weave its way into the fabric of our everyday lives. The transistor, the backbone of modern electronics, owes its existence to quantum mechanics. The laser, a tool now indispensable in fields as diverse as medicine and telecommunications, is another child of quantum theory. Yet despite its successes, quantum mechanics continued to perplex and provoke. The measurement problem emerged, questioning the very act of observing the quantum world. According to the quantum theory, the act of measuring a quantum system can change the system's state. But how? Why? These questions remain unanswered. Then there's the concept of entanglement. This is a phenomenon where two particles become so intimately linked that the state of one instantaneously affects the state of the other, regardless of the distance separating them. This spooky action at a distance, as Einstein called it, defies the classical ideas of locality, presenting yet another paradox in the quantum realm. In our quest to reconcile these paradoxes, numerous interpretations of quantum mechanics have emerged. Some suggest that every measurement spawns a multitude of parallel universes, each representing a different outcome. Others propose that quantum systems exhibit a form of super-realism possessing definite properties even when not measured. 
The quantum quest continues even today. Physicists around the globe are working tirelessly, pushing the boundaries of our understanding, probing the enigmatic quantum world. They are exploring the mysteries of dark matter and dark energy, the peculiarities of black holes and the origins of the universe itself. As we continue to explore the quantum realm, we are faced with more questions than answers, but that's the beauty of science. Each question leads to new discoveries. Each answer unveils a deeper mystery. The quantum journey is far from over. In fact, it's just getting started. Stay curious, stay excited, for the best is yet to come. Quantum theory, however, is not just an intellectual curiosity. It's a portal to a future teeming with staggering possibilities and potential breakthroughs. It's a key that opens the door to a world where the rules of classical physics are thrown out the window, replaced by the strange and wonderful laws of the quantum realm. Let's talk about quantum computing, one of the most exciting prospects on the horizon. Imagine a computer that could solve problems that would take our best classical computers millions of years to crack. That's the promise of quantum computing. By harnessing the principles of superposition and entanglement, quantum computers can process vast amounts of information simultaneously. They could revolutionize fields from cryptography to material science, shedding light on problems that have long eluded us. Speaking of cryptography, let's delve into the world of quantum cryptography. In an era where our digital security is constantly under threat, quantum cryptography offers a beacon of hope. It uses the principles of quantum mechanics to create unbreakable codes, ensuring secure communication. This could radically transform the way we protect sensitive information from national security data to personal details. Moreover, quantum theory is the driving force behind future advancements in numerous fields. It's anticipated to play a pivotal role in developing quantum teleportation, quantum sensors, and even quantum biology. The list is endless and keeps growing as we continue to explore and understand the quantum realm. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Quantum theory is an ongoing journey of discovery, a voyage into the unknown where every step forward reveals new mysteries. The quantum world is full of surprises and we're just scratching the surface. As we delve deeper into the quantum realm, we brace ourselves for more mind-bending phenomena and discoveries that will redefine our understanding of the universe. The future of quantum is exciting, unpredictable, and most importantly, it's ours to discover. So, hold on to your hats, folks, because the quantum roller coaster ride is far from over. In conclusion, the journey of quantum theory is far from over. We voyaged from its inception when Max Planck proposed the concept of quanta to the rise of quantum mechanics spearheaded by the likes of Albert Einstein, Niels Bohr, Erwin Schrödinger and Werner Heisenberg. We've seen how these revolutionary ideas have not only shattered our classical understanding of physics, but also paved the way for modern technologies 